vaping, or the use of electronic cigarettes has gained popularity in recent years. While some people believe that vaping is a safer alternative to smoking traditional cigarettes, there are several important truths that individuals should be aware of when considering vaping as an option. Vaping is not risk-free. While e-cigarettes do not produce the same harmful chemicals found in traditional cigarettes, they do contain nicotine and other chemicals that can be harmful to the body. Nicotine is highly addictive and can negatively impact brain development in adolescents and young adults. E-cigarette vapor can also contain heavy metals, volatile organic compounds, and other potentially harmful substances. Vaping can lead to addiction because e-cigarettes contain nicotine. They can be highly addictive. In fact, some e-cigarette products contain more nicotine than traditional cigarettes, making them even more addictive. This can make it difficult for individuals to quit vaping once they have started. E-cigarettes are not a safe alternative to smoking. While e-cigarettes may be less harmful than traditional cigarettes, they are not a safe alternative to smoking. Research suggests that e-cigarette use may increase the risk of lung and heart disease and may also worsen asthma symptoms. E-cigarettes are not FDA approved as a quit smoking aid. While some people use e-cigarettes as a way to quit smoking, they are not currently approved by the US Food and Drug Administration FDA for this purpose. Instead, the FDA has approved several other medications and nicotine replacement therapies that are proven to be safe and effective for smoking cessation. Vaping is not allowed in all places. While some states and municipalities have banned e-cigarette use in certain public places, including restaurants, bars, and workplaces, there are still many places where vaping is allowed. It is important to be aware of local laws and regulations regarding e-cigarette use. In conclusion, while e-cigarettes may seem like a safer alternative to traditional cigarettes, there are several important truths that individuals should be aware of when considering vaping as an option. E-cigarettes are not risk-free, can lead to addiction, and are not a safe alternative to smoking. It is important to be aware of local laws and regulations regarding e-cigarette use and to speak with a healthcare provider about safe and effective options for smoking cessation. Vaping has become a popular alternative to traditional smoking, but many people are unaware of the potential risks associated with e-cigarettes. While the long-term health effects of vaping are still being studied, there is growing evidence that vaping can have negative effects on lung health. One of the main concerns with vaping is the inhalation of harmful chemicals and particles. E-cigarette aerosol contains a variety of chemicals, including nicotine, flavorings, and other potentially harmful substances. When inhaled, these chemicals and particles can irritate the lungs and cause inflammation. In addition to the direct inhalation of harmful substances, vaping can also have indirect effects on lung health. For example, vaping can increase the risk of respiratory infections as the inhalation of e-cigarette aerosol can weaken the immune system and make individuals more susceptible to infections. In addition, some studies have suggested that vaping can lead to the development of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, a lung disease that can cause breathing difficulties and other respiratory symptoms. There is also evidence to suggest that vaping can have negative effects on lung function. In a recent study, researchers found that individuals who vaped had decreased lung function compared to non-smokers. The study also found that individuals who used both traditional cigarettes and e-cigarettes had even greater reductions in lung function. In summary, while the long-term health effects of vaping are still being studied, there is growing evidence that vaping can have negative effects on lung health. Vaping can expose individuals to harmful chemicals and particles, increase the risk of respiratory infections, and decrease lung function. It is important for individuals to be aware of the potential risks associated with vaping and to speak with a healthcare provider about safe and effective options for smoking cessation. Vaping has become increasingly popular as an alternative to traditional smoking, but many people are unaware of the potential effects that vaping can have on the body. While the long-term health effects of vaping are still being studied, there is growing evidence that vaping can have negative effects on various organs and systems in the body. One of the most significant effects of vaping is its impact on the respiratory system. Vaping can lead to lung inflammation, irritation, and reduced lung function, as well as an increased risk of respiratory infections. Vaping can also cause damage to the cardiovascular system, increasing the risk of heart disease and stroke. 
In addition to these effects, vaping can also have negative impacts on oral health. The heat from vaping devices can cause dry mouth, which can lead to tooth decay, gum disease, and other oral health problems. Vaping can also cause irritation and inflammation of the throat and mouth, as well as bad breath and a persistent cough. Another potential effect of vaping is the exposure to toxic chemicals and metals. The aerosol produced by vaping devices can contain harmful chemicals such as formaldehyde, acetaldehyde, and acrolein, as well as metals such as lead, nickel, and chromium. Exposure to these substances can have negative effects on various systems in the body, including the nervous system and the immune system. Finally, vaping can also have negative impacts on mental health and well-being. Nicotine is a highly addictive substance, and vaping can lead to dependence and withdrawal symptoms. In addition, some studies have suggested that vaping can increase the risk of depression and anxiety. In summary, while the long-term health effects of vaping are still being studied, there is growing evidence that vaping can have negative effects on various organs and systems in the body. It is important for individuals to be aware of these potential effects and to speak with a healthcare provider about safe and effective options for smoking cessation.